When you need to school one of your more finished horses at home between shows, do you go back to a snaffle bit? Well, you know, in the cow horses, I ride in a snaffle bit a lot anyway. You know, if you're going to train a rain and fertility horse, it's got to be one-handed in the bridle as a three-year-old. But I'll still ride in a snaffle once or twice a week because I just can get a lot more of the stiffness out of them in a snaffle. Anytime you're fixing a problem, you go back to a snaffle, okay? Now, if it's more of an older seasoned horse that's been there done that and pretty smart about the show pen and anticipating lead changes and anticipating rundowns or stops i would probably go school that horse in the bridle that i'm going to show him in okay but more than more than what bridle you put in his mouth the most important thing is you do the opposite of what the horse expects to do so if he thinks you're going to do a lead change in the center of the arena you do a lead change around the top of the the figure eight Okay, if he thinks you're going to do a rundown, you don't stop, you go all the way to the fence. You know, if he thinks he's going to stop, go all the way to the fence. You must do the opposite of what they're thinking they, they're going to do. Horses get patterned up very, very quickly, especially to reining patterns, especially cow horses, because cow horses are very athletic and they're very intelligent. They overthink everything. So they can get to anticipating quicker than, say, a true reiner. Reiners kind of have what I call dumb blood. They're more laid back. They're more lazy, more numb. They don't outthink you anywhere near to the level that a cow horse will. Cow horses got cutting blood. They're intuitive. They're feely. They're sensitive. A grasshopper farts. They jump. They're a lot smarter. They think their way through things almost too much on that. So more than what I put them in to go school them is I just do a lot of patterns, but I do the opposite of what they want to do. I'll run them through a pattern and every time they anticipate, I'll have a correction to what they're doing. Obviously that depends on what they're doing, but I just finish the pattern then I'll go outside for five minutes, come back in, do another pattern. I'll do a different pattern each time until the horse learns to just wait for me. So if you have more questions about horse training, you can either go to the No Worries Club and, and become a member and find out all your information there. Or if you have more needs that you want to talk to me personally for a personal consultant call, if anything about the horse industry, buying, selling, making money, saving money, starting a business, how to make more money, you can just go to the, uh, call the office, book an hour consulting fee with me, and I'd be happy to talk to you one-on-one -on -one and help you make a lot of money or save a lot of money.